uh, a professor of uh, psychology and lifelong learning and in a prior job as a professor of educational sciences, um, I was constantly confronted with um, a lot of people saying a lot of things about education and learning and teaching. And when I looked at the research about it, I found that there wasn't very much research done on it. And um, the research that was done wasn't very good research, in my opinion. So um, I kind of got very, very mad about it. And um, I looked at it, and I found that they were urban legends. So what I will be presenting here is um, four things that you often hear a lot of people talking about with respect to learning and teaching. And um, I will present uh, research uh, uh, about that and will try to get you to be a little bit more critical about um, what you hear and what you see and what you do. I have seen in some form what's called the learning pyramid. Um, uh, at the moment, there are a lot of uh, people making uh, web quests. And um, uh, if you look at what they're writing about it, they often base what they're um, doing. They often base what they're doing on this um, uh, learning pyramid idea. And um, the idea behind it is kind of, um, it's, it's almost Zen. You know, Zen, if I give you a fish, you will eat for a day. If I teach you to fish, you will eat for your lifetime. The, it's the idea of um, what I hear I forget, uh, what I see, I remember, and what I do, I understand. This whole idea of learning by doing. And a lot of it is based upon that, and you see different parts of it here, like um, from a lecture, you will remember 5% uh, the uh, <laughs> thing. If it's audiovisual, it will be 20%. If it's a demonstration, it will be 30%. If you discuss it in a group, it will be 50%. Um, and it sounds really, really good. And we see a lot of the education that we're making at the moment um, based upon this idea. It's not only based upon this idea, but when I went to the website, I found uh, on the internet, I found almost 10,000 websites that make use of learning pyramid. And if you just Google Bales and learning and pyramid, you get like, 30, 40,000 hits of people making use of this. And I wanted to find out, is this true? And so I did some research on it. And I went to the uh, National Training Laboratory. Because if you look at this, you find that um, often this Bale's learning pyramid from either 1954 or 1969 is based upon uh, uh, research supposedly done at the National Training Laboratory. And um, what they say there, and this is a direct quote, is, we believe it to be accurate, but no, we no longer have any, nor can we found, find any research that supports this. So in other words, everybody is citing Bale's learning pyramid, Maslow's learning pyramid, um, uh, from 1954 or 1969, uh, based upon this cone of experience, but there's absolutely no empirical data to support any of this. The pyramid pleases, as I say at the bottom, because it supports what we would like to believe as being the truth. And we're making education based upon something we believe and not something that we know. And that's the major problem.